Hello, welcome. I don't know why my camera, like the second I go live, it zooms in. It's like on magnifying glass to my face, which is not always a good thing. Um, so welcome to another episode. Today is one of my favourite topics. I'm talking about body image in particular. And I'm going to give you three really powerful um, action steps that will improve the way you feel towards your body if you actually do this, okay? So I want to start off with an affirmation. And the affirmation is, loving my body is a mindset I create for myself. So just let that land for a moment. Loving my body is a mindset I create for myself. I just want you to imagine for a minute what it would feel like to genuinely be fully accepting of how you look right now in this moment without needing to lose weight, tone up, get smaller, have, a, have your boobs done, have your nose done before, right? Exactly as you are right now. Like what would that feel like to accept yourself and not trying to, not pretending you do, actually genuinely from your heart accepting yourself for who you are? Like what a radical idea, right? And I'm here to tell you that it is 100% possible for you to accept yourself fully. And I get right now that many of you, your minds might be arguing back at me right now, um, telling me all the reasons why that it's not possible for you. But I want to tell you that I get that, you know, I've been there. If you followed me for a while, you know my story. I used to shower in the dark so I didn't have to look at my body. I used to avoid mirrors at all costs and if I saw a glimpse of myself in, um, in one without being quote ready or prepared to look at myself, it would cause me to have an actual breakdown. I would just have so much anxiety around it all and it would ruin like my whole week. And if my partner would have surprised me with a luxurious sun holiday, without telling me about it months in advance to give me a chance to quote, try and lose weight first, I would say, I would have said, there's absolutely no way I'm going on holiday. I would have turned that down purely because I just couldn't face putting a bikini on. Like it was that bad, it was so real to me. I used to dread my girlfriends asking me if I wanted to go out because I didn't have anything to wear that fit me that I actually felt good in. So why am I telling you all of this then? First of all, I want to share that with you because I want you to understand where I've come from so you can understand and realise that all of this body freedom, all of this body acceptance and body confidence is 100% available to you too, which is good news. At the moment, your mind won't be able to fathom that you can be fully accepting of your body. Like I get that, I've been there, remember. But the difference is the gap in between where you are now and where you want to be is mindset training and doing the inner work and most importantly, taking action. And I'm gonna be sharing with you now three tips, well, three action steps actually, that you can do starting from today that will actually help you to start accepting your body and start loving that miraculous body that you're living in right now. But first of all, the questions first, as always, and I would like you to take a moment to journal these questions before you get started with the action steps. So if you're watching me back, obviously pause me and journal or write these questions down, ready to answer in your journal later because it's really important and really helpful. So number one question, why do you think you feel the way you do about your body? Number two, do you think others see your body the way you see it for yourself? And number three, what is the goal with how you want to feel in and towards your body and why. And the last one, number four, if you weren't spending so much time hating your body, what else would you be doing? It's just a few questions for you to journal on. I really advise you to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and share with you the steps then. So again, these will radically improve your body image if you actually do them. 
Number one is exposure therapy. So spend time naked, like work out naked, do naked cleaning, do naked yoga, walk around the house naked, like basically do everything you can naked. Obviously make it work for you and your household because I'm sure the kids won't love it, however your partner will, right? And this is gonna feel really uncomfortable. It's probably gonna make you feel, oh, no way, I don't wanna do that, right? Well, this is exactly why you should be doing it. It's gonna feel really uncomfortable to begin with because how many times do you get out the shower and you, you quickly like grab a towel to cover your body up because God forbid that you or yourself like catch a glimpse of your naked body. I mean, yeah, I get that it's also cold when you get out the shower, but you get my drift, like we're always covering up, okay? But spending time with yourself naked will absolutely help you feel more comfortable in your body. Sorry, my alarm's going off. Like this is, I practice what I preach, right? If anyone is watching the camera, this is a check-in for me. It's H-E-C, it says check-in. And that means checking with my hunger, checking with my energy and checking with my cravings. And I have that alarm go off four times a day. So I'm just going to check in, share it with you. I'm not hungry, I've just eaten, my energy is, I would say, moderate, and I have no cravings. Okay, so I advise you to do that as well, so that was a good thing that just came up. So sorry, going back to what I was saying, spending time with yourself naked will absolutely help you be more comfortable in your body. It's that whole get comfortable with being uncomfortable. And the best, most transformative type of exposure therapy is to do mirror work. So what mirror work is then, it's to spend time with yourself in front of a full length mirror, naked of course, um, on a daily basis. Okay, even if you start off three times a week, I want you to be doing this daily, very, very quickly. And it's important to make this into as a, a comfortable experience as possible because I know um, most of you watching this right now or listening to this will be thinking they're going to be freaking out and they absolutely do not want to do this. It's going to scare the shit out of you, right? But that's the point. So make it into a ritual. Dim the light. So if, you, if you're all posh and you have those fancy dimming lights, then dim the lights. And if you don't, or as well, um, put candles up, you know, make the room nice, make it inviting, make it cosy put on some soft music that feels good to you in the background, get a soft blanket on the floor in front of the mirror or your duvet if you prefer to sit down and get yourself in front of the mirror. So you can sit or stand and just be okay with looking at your naked body in the mirror to start with. First of all, close your eyes, put your hand on your heart, take a few deep, soft breaths and just relax yourself and then begin. So these are the steps that I would like you to take. So number one, start off by looking into your own eyes, like stare right into your own eyes. Like I'm sure many of you have not even done that before. It can feel really strange to begin with. And then say to yourself out loud, if you can, or in your head, I love you and stare into your eyes, right? Let the tears come. I couldn't look at myself and tell myself I loved myself for like two months when I first started this journey because I had so much resistance to that and so much emotion and sadness because it was all coming up because I just desperately wanted to love myself. So let the tears come. That's number one. The next thing I want you to do is start from the top of your head all the way down to your toes, work your way through your entire body. I want you to apologize to each body part that you've been mean to, that you've rejected, that you've told it it's not good enough. All of that negative things we have around our bodies, apologize to each body part and send it love. You know, tell each body part why you're grateful for that. For example, I'm sorry to my arms for always hiding you away in like long sleeves because I was ashamed of them. And I'm grateful for you because you allow me to hug my loved ones, right? That's an example. So go from head to toe in your own time. And when you notice, because she will be there, by the way, you're in a bitch. When you notice her popping up, saying mean things to you and your body, 
practice separating yourself from her. So you can imagine her chatting away in the background, but you're not interacting with her. You're just kind of watching her. If she doesn't disappear, just allow her to be there. But know that in this moment, you are pure love, okay? And the step three for this sacred mirror work is imagine that you've put on a pair of glasses that only allow you to see through the eyes of love. So you can't help but look for love when you look at your body. And I know that sounds a bit strange, but try it. Seriously, if you look for the beauty in your body, you will find it because we get what we find whatever we look for. So appreciate all of her curves, lumps, bumps, edges, shapes, and look for the beauty in your body. If you look for it, you will find it. Your body is a force of nature and she is beautiful. You are beautiful just because you're alive and I fully mean that. So allow diet culture, allow beauty culture to leave your mind. I know that's extremely hard, but just allow it to fade or melt away just for this moment. And whilst you're spending this sacred mirror time with yourself, notice how you can, if you really search for it and allow it to be there, you can feel some love and acceptance towards your body, even if it's just for a short moment. So that's action step number one. I highly encourage you to do that every single day. Acceptance is only ever a thought away. So what do you choose? Do you choose to accept your body? Acceptance doesn't mean you have to like it, by the way, that's very important to start off with. Acceptance is not liking something, but it's stopping the fight. It's stopping the resistance. So do you choose to accept or do you continue to fight and resist against yourself? Okay, so action point number two is write your body a letter and then let her write back. So this exercise can be really healing and make time to do this. So plan, I would say around an hour, don't rush it. I encourage you to write with pen and paper instead of actually typing it on the computer. And number one is to blame your body for everything you're annoyed at her for. So get angry if you need to, write down everything you wish that she was. Write down how you feel about her not looking the way you want her to look. Maybe your body is injured or sick or maybe it's disabled and how does that make you feel? Let it all out, get it down on pen and paper. And then step number two in the, in the write a letter is next thing is do a meditation. It can be a short meditation or a long meditation, or you can, if you're not a meditator, you can just put on some relaxing music for at least 15 minutes and just allow yourself that time, that space. And then I would like you to allow your body to write a letter back to your previous letter that you've wrote to it. So what has she got to say about your previous letter and of anger and blame, right? What does she need to tell you? How does she feel for all the things you've said to her? And what would she like from you? And then reflect on your answer to that. This can be so healing and share them with me. I would love to, I would love to read them. So doing this for yourself is healing enough, but sharing it with someone is an, that extra step. So I'd love to know. And step, action step number three, this one for all you non-believers out there is scientifically proven to help with body image. So step number three is look at women, your size or bigger, on social media every damn day, right? We need to unlearn everything that we've been conditioned to think and believe about ourselves and our bodies. Go and seek out women your size or bigger on the internet or social media and look at these images for at least 10 minutes every day. Seeing women similar to your shape and size, being confident and carefree for the whole world to see is so healing for you. Like I promise you this, they are giving you the permission to be yourself. We don't need the permission of anyone else, of course, but it almost feels like these women are giving you that permission just to be yourself, but to be happy about it, to like who you are, 
you know, to not be scared and not be hiding away, to just show up as you are, exactly as your body is right now. And I encourage you to unfollow anyone who makes you feel not good enough, even if that's me, like unfollow me, unfollow anyone who doesn't make you feel not good enough. And I also recommend that you follow women that make you feel uncomfortable because of their size. So follow women that are bigger than you that make you feel so uncomfortable because of their size, right? And then keep looking at these women and your body image will change towards yourself, I promise you this. It does wonders and thankfully, to be honest, our beauty industry, it is um, gaining a more body positive um, perspective. We're seeing models with stretch marks, with cellulite, which is amazing, so amazing, but we've still got a long way to go. So educating yourself and unbrainwashing yourself with all of the airbrush models and porn stars that we've been conditioned to lust after, men and women, it's unbrainwashing yourself. I don't even know if that's a word, but I've just made it into a word, okay? So these three action steps, they really, really will help you to start accepting your body if you actually practice them. Body acceptance takes time, an effort, but I promise you, it's so, so worth it. If It's like anything, right? If you put in the reps, you strengthen the muscle. So self-acceptance is a muscle. You have to train it in order to strengthen it. Get help from a professional. Hi, yes, I'm a professional in this area, but there's not just me out here doing this. Get help from a professional that feels aligned with you, that you have good energy with, on this journey, because this journey to self-love, body acceptance, body love, it's a long journey, it's a rocky journey, journey, it's not linear in any way, shape or form, but do not let that put you off taking that first step to body freedom, because when you reach body freedom, it's indescribably liberating and so freeing, it's so worth it, I promise you this, and of course, what other choice do you have? right? You have the choice that you're in now, how's that going for you? Or you have this other choice that's available to you and you can feel so freaking free and happy every day. And if you would like help on this journey, reach out to me, get in touch. I have so many different ways now that we can work together to get you where you need to be. And I'm actually launching something super exciting in January. So reach out to me. I don't buy, I promise. I'll have a conversation, let's have a chat, I'll give you the options and I am first and foremost here to help you and give you the best advice for what you need to do going forward. So I look forward to hearing from you and I will see you next week on the next episode. Mwah! Sending you so much love. Bye for now.